Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds with 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Amped Wireless REC15A High Power Wi-Fi Range Extender. And this is the next model in the REC series. Before this one they had the REC10. That one though wasn't a dual band range extender, it was just 2.4 GHz. This one though is a dual band range extender. It does 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. But let's get into the specs and details on all that a little bit later on. It comes in this pretty looking box that has pictures as well as features and specifications about the product. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. The range extender itself is at the top. It has this protective plastic on it. Also, the antenna. And at the bottom, they have a bag with a number of items in it, a CD which has documentation and an installation video on it, information about their Wi-Fi and Linux tool, a quick installation setup here, and this support card which has information on it so you can contact them if there's an issue. The antenna connection is on the right side. You simply screw the antenna in and then you can really position the antenna where you want for the best reception, like so. You can twist it and swivel it just about anywhere. This is a very flexible product in that you can extend the range of pretty much any single or dual band Wi-Fi router that is out there. And you're going to get up to around 5,000 square feet of Wi-Fi coverage with this. But that's in a perfect world. And Wi-Fi is far from perfect. It is going to depend on the router. It's going to depend on how far the range extender is from the router and what's in between the range extender and the router. And the really neat thing is this can do 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, but it can do them together at the same time for maximum bandwidth as well. It supports 802.11a, b, g, n, as well as ac, single, or dual band Wi-Fi routers. Now in their latest firmware update, they have this boost band technology. And what this does essentially is increase the speed and performance of the extended network, and it does so by streamlining dual band network traffic through a single Wi-Fi frequency band between the router and the range extender, making it about twice as fast. Now all this is possible because on the inside they have a couple of high power wireless reception amplifiers, as well as a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz amplifier. And on the outside, they They've got a high gain dual band antenna. So how does this compare to standard Wi-Fi devices? Well, the amplifiers are up to 500 milliwatts compared to 50 on standard devices. That's up to 10 times as much. The antenna is up to 2 dBi. Standard antennas are around 1 or less than that. And the range on this one's around 500 square feet in a perfect world, compared to around 1,500 square feet with a standard Wi-Fi device. Now let's have a closer look. The overall styling and build quality is excellent. Plus, it is white. If you like white and maybe you're into Apple products, I think you will love the overall appearance and styling on this. And speaking of Apple, it does support AirPlay, AirPrint, and home sharing. So they have you covered when it comes to Apple networks. Now this is a wireless range extender, but thankfully they do include a wired network port on the bottom. It measures in at one inch by three inches by five inches. At the top, they have an LED indicator for network access and power and so on and so forth, a WPS button and a reset button along with ventilation. And they also have ventilation at the bottom. And at the back, they have more ventilation along with this power plug and a sticker which has the serial number WPS pin on it plus other information. With it connected into the wall outlet have a look as you can see it doesn't stand out that much. Now my outlet is white but still I think it's thin enough and it's not too large so no matter what color your outlet is or your wall it won't be too godly. Now they have this Wi-Fi analytics app which you can download and install on your portable device. This is my smartphone. It starts first in this scanner mode where it will find the Wi-Fi networks in your area or in your building and you can see that it does list the Amped Wireless Rec 15A here and if you click on it you can decide to connect or not. As well I will show you the other menus. You've got the channel interface, channel graph, 
signal graph, signal meter, and you can choose to turn that sound off if you want to. And finally, the signal strength widget, which you can enable or disable. To connect to this device, open up pretty much any browser, and in the address bar, type in setup.emptwireless.com. Once you've done that, you will see this. First, just scan. Once it scans, it will find the wireless networks that you have, the routers. So I'll select the correct one and then go next. And once you do that, you'll have to enter the security key. And that will be the security key that is on your router. Next, you'll need to get an ID or you can just leave it the same for the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz networks. And remember, of course, to enter a security key for each. And once you've done that, you've extended your Wi-Fi network. Now let's go through the settings, and there's lots of them. First, the 5 GHz Wi-Fi settings. This is what it looks like within Home Network, Extended Network, Security, Wi-Fi Protected Setup, User Access, very convenient, Wireless Coverage, this is also handy to have because, well, you can broadcast your signal 50%, you know, 35%, kind of like where you want it. Access schedule and advanced settings. Similar settings within the 2.4 gigahertz home network, extended network, security, Wi-Fi protected setup, user access, wireless coverage, access schedule and advanced settings. Now this is the boost band technology where you have the choice of enabling it or disabling it. That's completely up to yourself. Within network settings, you've got IP settings, wired port routing, and in management, you've got device status, network status, system clock, system logs, you can do a firmware update. Strongly recommended. One of the first things you should do is do a firmware update. You can save and reload the settings and you can change the password. Who doesn't want to extend the range of their network? Usually if you go outside of your home or office, you will lose the signal. And it really depends on where you have the router. Myself, I have it in the basement because that's really where I work. But if I go upstairs, that router that's in the basement, well, it doesn't really reach. So for me, having a product like this is a godsend because what it does do is extends that range to the garage, to the backyard, or wherever. And of course, you can keep adding these range extenders to extend the range continuously. Now, many range extenders can't come close to this. The standard ones, well, they don't reach that far. They drop the signal all of the time. It's just simply not worth getting. Now, you're going to pay more for a product like this, but at the end of the day, you're going to be much happier with it. This will give you dual band, and then that's definitely something that standard range extenders will not do as well. You can customize this with you know, user access control and schedules. You can give it guest permissions and so on and so forth. It is a very flexible, comprehensive range extender. I think one of the better ones that are on the market. So if you're looking for a range extender that truly extends the range of your network, no matter if it's a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz network, then this is something you should definitely check out. Overall, it's a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.